Alright, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a speed coil game pass on Roblox without any scripting at all. So, if you go to the top link in the description, I'll take you to this page here. This is my speed coil game pass model. If once you're on this page, you click get, and then click get now, it will add my model to your game pass. Alright, now you've got that in your inventory, we need to make the game pass. So, if you go to roblox.com, slash home, just go to the home page. And then if you go to the create tab, Right, so once you're on the create page, either go to my creations or group creations, depending on what the game's under, and then find your game. So mine's testing place here, and then click this little cog icon here, and click create pass. And then take you to this page, you need to add an image, so if you click browse, and then find an image. And now once you've added an image, you can give it a name, so I'm just going to call it speed coil, and then you can give it a description if you like. But you just click preview and then verify upload and it'll say pass successfully created now you can find your game pass here there you go speed coil you can click this cog and click configure it'll take you to the configure page so click sales and then turn on item for sale and you can make it cost as much as you like so i'll just make it 50. so if you save that and click go to details and then in the URL bar here, this is the ID of the game pass. So you need to go to the URL bar, highlight this number and copy it. So you can right click and click copy. And now we can go into Roblox Studio. So now you're here. If you go to the view tab at the top and make sure you have th these three windows open. So you need the explorer window, the properties window and the toolbox window. So now in the toolbox, if you go to this icon here, it's for my models, so we'll click that. And then find the speed coil game pass that you just got. So you click on that. And then click OK. You can now close out the toolbox. And you can click the down arrow on the speed coil game pass in your explorer window. Now we can drag this script here, the speed coil script. You can drag that into serve script service. And then we can take this by speed coil GUI here and drag that into the start GUI. And there you go, you can see the GUI has appeared. So now in the Explorer tab, if you click the down arrows on the speed call script and by speed call GUI. And now if you click on this value here called Game Pass ID, uh, click it and then in your properties tab, you need to change the value. You can paste in that number that you copied before. So that's the Game Pass ID. And if you do it for both of them. So now you've done that, it should work. But to test it, we need a studio to be able to access the services to prompt us with this game pass. So if you go into the game settings, and then go down to security, you need to make sure this enable studio access to API services is on. So this means studio can use the marketplace service, so it can check if you own the game pass, and if you do own it, give you the gravity coil. So, do that, save it, and then you can close out of the game settings. So now we can click on play here. And when it loads, you'll see I have this gravity coil here. And then there's this button here, buying the speed coil. And there you go, it should work. Anyways, if you found this helpful, uh, subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching, and goodbye.